So over here you can see that I have a website and I got a bunch of pages like there's home page, under schedule, there's venue and speakers. So let's say what I want is I want to add in um, a text right here. That is, I want to add in a link to the venue directly as well. So if you want to do that, what you can do is you can go to the plus button and then over here you can see new link is an option. And once you click on this, here you can see that you can rename out the link to however you like. So I'm just going to go around and uh, I'm going to type in venue over here. And in link, you can see that there's the option for which page you want to link this to. So I'm just going to go around and say page venue right here. And then here you can see it says open in new tab. You can open it in same page or in new tab. You have an option to do that. But I'm just going to go around, open it in same same page and press done. So now what I have is I have venue under schedule right here, which I can click and I can go around over here and utilize this to link to the page as well. You, you cannot click over here, but if you were to go around onto the preview, then you can see that this is what you have. Under venue, you can see that this is what you have. But if I were to go to home and click on venue right here, you can see that it goes to this very page right here. It goes to the page uh, which is right here. Similarly, I'm going to go around over here and you can uh, keep the venue link uh, as a sub base of another menu as well. So you can see that now you got the same option right here. So if I were to go around onto preview and if I were to go to home and go to speaker and venue, then you can see that it goes under the schedule itself. So that it goes to the main link right here because this acts as a shortcut. So that is how you can add custom internal link inside of Google Sites. So I hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share and subscribe.